Right. Welcome to the fucking first Pure Waffle podcast, and I am Imperial Stormtrooper ETS Cunt. That's fucking enough of that. I've got some extremely special guests with me today. I've got the handsome Lewis Rose and the handsomest Christopher Rose. So that's my brother. That's my nephew. And this is the first fucking Pure Waffle podcast ever. Say hello, boys. Hi, boys. Make sure we've fist away. Come on. Hi. He's got his coke table ready. Look at that fucker there. <laughs> ready, set. <laughs> so, my brother's got some really funny stories, but his wife might be watching this. So, they're going to have to be a little bit maybe subdued while we've only got a few subscribers maybe we can go a little bit to the to the edge lewis has got a six pack me and his dad have got kegs <laughs> so if lewis wants to get his cock out at any point <laughs> ladies you are in for a treat because it's rather large if any of you have ever been to subway and you've got a foot long you might know what's hiding in that boy's <laughs> pants. Anyway, Lewis is a professional footballer. Semi, semi-pro. Semi-pro. And there's nothing semi about the monster <laughs> in his pants. <laughs> Who are you playing for, Lewis? Uh, so currently playing for Anstey, um, which is based in Leicestershire. Um, and they're currently playing in Step 4 as well. So why are you playing for such a shit team? Because you're quite good, aren't you? Tell us. <laughs> no, to be fair, mate, they're a very good team. Um, I'll be honest, so I was... Always, when I was younger, um, I was always, well, I always thought I was going to be a pro. Um, but then, unfortunately, when I was 19, um, I got um, ulcerated colitis. Um, so I had to stop playing for three years. So I started back playing when I was 22. But I've so what's, what, what is ulcerative colitis? Because loads of people won't have a fucking clue. So basically, it. obviously, it's, there's a spectrum uh, which ranges from IBS um, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, um, so also the spectrum can reflect this part in between it as well. Um, so I had ulcerative colitis, so it was basically ulceration of the colon. Um, so I went through like a really bad time with that. Um, I was really ill. I probably dropped down to probably about five stone, five and a half stone, would you say? You didn't. Did you yeah, really? Like five really, stone. yeah. Bearing in mind, like, I mean, Because like, what would you weigh now? What are you now? Six foot so one? Now I'm just, six? Just, I'm six, just under six foot one. Um, and I weigh about, I've just checked in, and I'm about 80 kg, um, which is... 14 and a half kg? Just below, I think. Just under. Um, but, yeah, so five and a half, five and five, five and a half stone. Um, basically, like, fits really well, like. Um, but, no, it was a long journey. Um, and then, was it 2020? Obviously, lockdown came. Um, 2022, was it 2021? Started back playing again. Um, Started playing at a team, didn't really get much luck, so I got injured. I was obviously not played for three years, my body wasn't used to it. Um, so then I was going to quit very, very close to just saying, right, fuck it, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, I'd lost the love completely. To be fair, I'm like a, a number nine or a number ten or a winger. And Do you know what? I'm going to make an absolute honest fucking confession. You know when people talk about numbers in football, I ain't got a fucking clue what they what mean. Saying. You know when someone says a nine or a false nine or a foot, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> what number's a striker? Number nine. That's normally. So number what's nine. number ten then? So number ten is that like me like as a position like someone like David Silva. So you're someone who plays in the hole behind the striker. So why doesn't it go number one's a goalie is the furthest back it, and number ten? It pretty much is. Or if number you, eleven you, should you, be the closest. If you do kind of look at it, so your number one is normally your goalkeeper, number two is normally your right back, and number three. Is obviously your left back, um, so it does kind of go like that. Yeah. So then four usually can either be a centre mid or a centre back, and five is just that as well. So it does really. So where's a number eleven play? Out wide. No, you normally, but it just depends. Makes fucking total sense, <laughs> doesn't it, Chris? <laughs> and do you know what? I reckon half of these knobheads think they know what they're talking about, and they don't, and they just keep it quiet. I ain't got a fucking clue. I know Stuart Pearce used to be number three and he was a left back. And Alan Shearer used to be nine. And he was a striker. So I have got a clue. So you're a striker. You, you see, I think you're a left sided player. Well, to be fair. Left I, winger, maybe. I'd rock, to be fair, that's what I'm playing for Anthony at the minute. I'm playing off the right. Um, so 
that Trust suits me. That. me. Alan Key, this is fucking dropping. Shy. This is drooping more than this session is long. What is it? Lefty, lefty loose is right side. Yeah, so my, my brother and my nephew have not experienced the shiller dick yet. And I keep telling them I'm going to get them stuff. But I'll give them some Celtic salt. As you can see, the Celtic salt by Celtic Coastal is the only Celtic salt you're ever going to need. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm not giving them the shiller dick. Brewer's droop's gone. Right then, Chris. Yeah, well, I'm going to stop you. You need to get fucking a hell of a lot closer to that microphone. I can't say anything because obviously, <laughs> anything that I'm going to say <laughs> gave me to a lot of trouble. Do you yeah. swear to wife. tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? No. Please put that microphone closer to your mouth. So these yeah, pair of knobheads no. came into the studio today, first time ever, and absolutely wrecked the microphones. Between them, they could build a house, and they've managed to fuck. <laughs> He's got his cocaine table out with the microphone connected to it. I reckon he's got his connected to the chair. And me and Ben have made this entire studio. We couldn't fucking put a Lego kit together before. And these cunts have, have sorted it. So anyway, t tell us about what you can't tell us. <laughs> Im Im imagine if you were telling a story okay. about somebody oh, else. Okay. Oh, most of these stories... Don't include it's me. not you. It's not me. Someone else. It's, it's, it's for a friend. Yeah, yeah. It's one of my mates. No, actually, there's a thing behind you, the uh, city ground badge. So that takes me to the first story. <coughs> Can't remember what team it was. He'll know. He'll know. There it is. But we went on an Which evening. One? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, we went on, yeah. a, on an evening. Um, cold, cold evening. Boris just about to kick off and just just behind us there was an almighty <laughs> woman screamed <laughs> so everybody looked around and poor old lady sat there with puke all over her back <laughs> all over her neck <laughs> covered in sick there's a piss head huge <laughs> big piss head behind her emptied his whole stomach <laughs> all over this poor lady. <laughs> so she sat there screaming. Um, somebody called security. So security came running up, got halfway up, saw the size of the guy, and decided to leave. We don't want none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, tell him about your nice surprise that you had one day at the Forest Ground. Oh, <laughs> right, so I can't remember if this was the guest, to be fair. Um, so me and my dad sat in front. But Nick is sat behind us. Uh, now, let me just add a caveat in here. My entire life, I have managed to fucking tear through underpants. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. It's not because I fought, I don't know. So pretty much, if I've not got a new pair of pants, they've got holes in them. And my bollocks hang out of these pants like you wouldn't believe. And subsequently, so had my tracksuit bottoms. So Lewis... Carry on. <laughs> so we're at this game. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, I've just, um, I've spun round some reason, and all I can fucking see is a fucking <laughs> pair of ball sacks in my face. <laughs> He's got his balls hanging outside his jumpers. I'm not joking, it's probably from here to there. Away. I'm just saying, like, fucking hell. <laughs> oh. Tell us about some of the goals you scored then, Lewis, this last couple of weeks. Because I've seen some on... Twitter? Yeah, what is it? Ants the Nomads? Ants the Nomads. Yes. Do you want to have a look on Ants the Nomads? He's scored some fucking rockets with his left foot, haven't you? Yeah, I have, to be fair. Yeah, the one against Sheffield Dynamo. That was really good. To be fair, my, I don't really score daffy. Like, most of my goals are pretty screamers. Yeah, screamers, yeah. Right, yeah. I would like to score a few more daffy. That's because you're a false nine. Yeah, a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said that like you knew. Get closer. Yeah. You see, I can. You see, the thing with me is, I'm pretty good at bullshitting my way through things and making people believe that I'm actually knowledgeable about stuff, but I'm actually not. <laughs> I know a little bit about loads of stuff, but not a lot about anything. Um, so you top of the tape? No, because you fucked up, didn't we you, yesterday? yesterday last night, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yesterday. So we're two looking 60 minutes, and then we 
he managed to lose four two, which I don't know how it happened. But away, or yeah, home. away. Who was it? It was Sun Coffee. Because you beat Russian Diamonds, didn't you? And that's like yeah. a team, a proper they team were, that I, yeah. I remember yeah, recognising. They used to be in the league, I can't remember years ago, but yeah, they were a league team. Um, well, do the fans the still think they are a league team? Do they? Absolutely morons. What? <laughs> <laughs> Russian <laughs> and Diamonds? <laughs> proper, proper morons. Yeah, to yeah. be fair, so last week, we played off the plane last week, and there's a group, to, to be fair, with non league, you do get a lot of lads that don't actually support the team, but they'll just go on the coach out because they are. Wandering around so with they were just fucking getting beer, splashing it all over everybody. Yeah. It's like the dregs of football all, sports, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Wanting to fight all the grandmas. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> do you play Colville? Because no, I've so heard they're, 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 they're a few scrappers. They're a step above, so they're a step through. Right. Um, wow. So I'm just going to add to uh, you, Stuart. Fist you're good at fisting fist. get that fucking microphone and fist away from your mouth so yeah nick reckons that he doesn't know that much about football i'm even worse i don't pretend i love watching it but when it comes to watching you know i love watching him play but when it comes to watching him on the television i realize i much prefer listening on the radio because they actually explain the game to you yeah <laughs> i much prefer to listen to it it's uh it's fucking hard work supporting Forest, isn't it? Fucking hell. The amount of times we've been... You've given up on them a few times, haven't you? Oh, yeah. You no, support, fair, you support Man U, think... really, don't you? You don't really yeah, support Man U. You're a Forest, a Forest fan. fan. I'm a Forest fan. I've grew up, obviously, grown up. Like, Remember that fist you had up your arse the other day? Get it closer Get to the fucking microphone. <laughs> you've got big fists in that. <laughs> <laughs> that. The Incredible Hulk. <laughs> No, so like obviously growing up, like Man U had like the team of Rooney Ronaldo, so like growing up it was just like pretty much a glory team, but obviously, yeah. obviously not anymore. Um, but yeah, Forest are definitely a glory team. But it's easier to give up on them, isn't it? it is. You know the piss take of it all. I've sat on a freezing Tuesday night watching them against Preston in the snow, and now I can't get a fucking ticket. See, yeah, <laughs> can't get a ticket. In actual fact, someone's messaged me today if you want a ticket for the match on Saturday. I can't go. Who are they playing? Brighton. Lower Bridgeford. Yeah, 30, oh, yeah, yeah, 38 yeah. quid. I can't make it because I'm fucking in there doing a thousand podcasts with people. Come on then, Chris. Interesting you, you, people. You've been a bit fucking quiet. A bit quiet. Let's hear one of your fucking amazing stories. Tell them about the fireball. I don't involve my wife. Now, don't involve your wife. We're okay. going to keep it right. absolutely so, wife-free zone. So I'm um, probably 12. No, let me start. Yeah, we'll start with the... F no, we won't start with the five. We'll start with something else. So probably about it's 12 so years old. Here we go. 12 He's years coming. old. <laughs> me and my little sister, Sam, like bored one Sunday afternoon. We weren't allowed out past the, past the gate on a Sunday, but I don't know why. Uh, so me and Sam were a little bit bored. And so we decided that we were going to smash this thing up. Um, and in, in there's a little area at the back of the house uh, where all the rubbish went. Anyway, there was a sink. Mum and Dad took a sink out. And we decided we are going to break the sink. So the what was it? Was, porcelain sink? Porcelain sink. sink. It Get was the a, hammer out. It was a Belfast out. sink. So they actually go for quite a bit of money. So we decided that we're going to break it. So we got the hammer. And what it was was... Three shots each so he could do the most damage. So <laughs> I obviously hit it three times, destroyed it, and then gave the hammer to Sam on a second hit. Mum well, and Dad came out. <laughs> Catch Sam. Sam took the blame for it. Absolutely wasted, bless her. Okay, so that was that instant. In exactly the same area, I decide that I'm going to experiment with my <laughs> <laughs> so, started to uh, burn whatever was in there, and then all of a sudden it took, it took a lot, I started to go up in flames. So I panicked, called me dad, 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 help, dad comes running out and says, what the bloody hell you done? I started putting out the fire, puts the fire out, and he says, what have you done? I said, dad, honestly, it wasn't me. It was a flaming fireball <laughs> out of the sky. <laughs> Dad didn't believe me. I got a good, I got a good whack. And actually, I don't think I got a good whack. I think he was laughing that much that he didn't give me a whack. But yeah. And then also another one, one Sunday afternoon, me and Sam. This thing. 
this thing. <laughs> no, definitely not. So me and Sam bored again. We were, we were probably a little bit older, probably 13 now, so we were allowed out on Sunday. Um, we, in fact, not far away from here, walking the canal bank, uh, there's a factory. Opposite. Literally, the canal literally, is there. The literally, there. it's about 100 yards down there. So uh, a row of, it's an old abandoned factory. All the uh, glass windows are still intact. <laughs> so we decided we're going to go and find it. Find a crate of an empty mill bottles, one mill bottles or one mill bottles. Probably about, what, 24, 25 mill bottles in there. I stood there throwing milk bottles through the window of the canal. Smashed every single one of them. Um, <coughs> to this day, I have no idea how we didn't get caught. Yeah, that was uh, pretty much our childhood. Is there anything you've done, Lewis, that you've not been caught for that you'd like to confess on the podcast while your dad sat there? <laughs> I have not been caught. You're a good boy, though, aren't you? Yeah, really good. You've been a fairly good boy. <laughs> so he gets, he gets He's been a fairly good one, boy. Right? Please. This is, this is what yeah, please. The door. Um, it's the Mrs. Rose, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lewis said. Where is it? Where were you living then, Darby? Yeah, a bit living in West Allen. And um, he said, well, this has been um, setting fire to the bins on the, on the re- record. <laughs> there, there seems to be a bit of a I've theme got, here, oh, doesn't there? Like, no, not a chance, no. Lewis wouldn't do that. He said, well, we've actually got video footage of it. <laughs> well, that night, Lewis was supposed to be out camping. We, we've got, we found him a tent, and he's supposed to be out camping with his mates. And there he is on the, on the video. The pieces showed me the video, and there they are, setting fire to the bin to keep themselves warm. <laughs> well, do you know what? I've got a bit of a fire theme as well. So, <clears throat> can you remember when we used to live down Lime West Avenue? Can you remember at the very back of the garden, we used to have those weeping willows? Yeah. Well, me, me and Stephen Hall, Stephen Hall was my best mate next door, and he was a couple of years older than me. And my dad was at work. Dad's, dad's a fucking fireman. So for anyone that doesn't yeah. know, my dad's a fireman. <laughs> so we've got a fire bug here, fire bug here. And um, so we've got these fucking great big weeping willows. And me and Stephen Hall, we decided we were going to make a fire, and we got found a load of bricks, and we made this circular brick container. We fucking set this fire going. And we'd, we'd had the extension built by this time. So mum, can you remember the back window? Mum, that's what, was that where the sink was? I reckon the sink was at yeah. the back window. So mum was sat there. Mum, we're fucking making this fire and it's going up. <laughs> it caught hold of the fucking weeping willow. <laughs> so we, this is fucking tree, huge tree, burning <laughs> down. Me and Stephen all ain't got a fucking clue what to do. And my mum's just sat there at the back window, just like, all right, me lads. <laughs> fucking shitting ourselves. The fucking whole thing's gone up in fucking flames. <laughs> and she, she couldn't give a fuck what was going on. I, I, I don't even, I don't know how it ended. I think it, I don't know. Was that, the, was that another fireball? <laughs> I don't even think so. Fucking hell. And can you remember when we... We dug that fucking trench at the back of the house, at the back of the garden. It must have been six foot deep and about 20 foot wide. It took us weeks. We'd, got, we'd dug so deep, it was just full of water. No, no point. That, oh, ma- you ma- kid? Well, maybe 10, 11. Imagine doing that in your mum and dad's garden, hit on the lawn. <laughs> looking, yeah, dug this trench. We made a fucking half pipe. Can you remember the half pipe we made, Chris? We made a skateboard half pipe in the back of my garden, out of doors and stuff. It was brilliant. We'd got fucking 18 year old skater lads coming around. We'd never seen them in our lives. <laughs> back mad. garden is just fucking open to any yeah, wave and stray. <laughs> oh, God. That was about the time when we used to go down the canal, which, yeah, just a little bit on up from here. And, uh, so just from across there, Nick, that's where, uh, Chris, that's where Elias used to live. Do you remember Elias yeah, and uh, yeah. Yota and all of them? Yeah. Kennel, dog kennel. So me and Elias and somebody else, there was a couple of us, it might have been Matty and Danny, we were a bit further down and we were on one side of the canal and there were some lads fishing. We were fucking chucking stones at the fucking floats. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Anyway, half an hour later, we're halfway down here. Anyway, these fucking older lads have fucking come over, come down, fucking found us. You fucking little bastards. Anyway. One of them stood on the edge of the fucking canal. Yeah. Big mistake. Yeah. I fucking Fuck pushed yeah. him. He's gone flying into the canal. We've just fucking bolted. Oh, my God. 
oh, I was talking to someone the other day. I was saying, if we'd have been caught for some of the things we've done, oh God, you did them things now. You do them things now. You'd be, be, you'd be all over prison. TikTok to me. Oh my God. Oh. So I've told this story many times on TikTok, but obviously because this is the first one. I think I would have told him the story about the drain that night. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> this is probably my best story. This is probably my funniest story. We were talking to Viley as well, weren't we, Ben, the other day? He was telling us some stories about Abby, wasn't he? So, uh, growing up with uh, a load of lads from Loughborough, and uh, Loughborough's quite a diverse town. So, most of my mates were Indians, Muslims, whatever, a couple of white lads. One of them was called Avnesh, and he was, well, he still is to this day, a little bit quirky. You know what I mean, he's a bit, bit odd. He's a lovely lad, but he, he, he's got his little tendencies. And we'd gone out one night into town, all of us, and I don't know why he chose me, but he said, I've got some cash. This was the time before you got, um, you didn't pay by card. It was all cash. So he says, I've got some cash at home. If you want to come back to my house, we'll get some more money and we'll come back out. We're all out. He'd obviously run out of money. So I said, yeah, no worries. So we've gone back to his house, which was, do so you know where McDonald's is in town? If you carry on walking out as if you're going out towards Leicester and then you've got all that new student accommodation, Moore's Lake. Anyway, it's less than, less than 300 metres away from Paul's and McDonald's. So we're going there and... He's tried lifting up one of the fucking grates out of the side of the road. You know where the path is in the road? Got them cast iron grates. Storm grates. Storm, Storm drain. drain. So he's trying to lift, and they're fucking heavy. Like, they're really fucking heavy. Yeah. And he was only a little lad. And he's managed to pull it up. And he's fucking quite proud of himself. So we've gone back to his house. Got some money out. Gone back into town. Met all the other lads. Carried on. And maybe two, three in the morning. We're going home. And he's like... And I don't know why, it was the only time ever in my life I've ever stayed at his house. It was the only time we ever, you know, we weren't that close. I'd have stayed at Preggy's house, they'd have stayed at my house or whatever. But for whatever reason, he's like, why don't you just stay at my house tonight? Now, bearing in mind, I lived about 300 metres in the other direction from town. And he lived 300, so it was just as easy for me to go back to my house. But I said, yeah, yeah, whatever. So we're walking back, and I'm on the fucking pavement. And he's slightly behind me. And then I just hear this fucking noise. And he's fucking fallen down the drain that he's opened up earlier that night. And it was in the days when all the, all the lads used to wear this fucking Moschino or Moschino stuff. And it was quite loud and proud and white shirt yeah. stuff. And he's fallen down this fucking drain. But he's fallen down like with his hands by his side. So all I can see is I can see my mate's head level with the curb. <laughs> Help me. Help me. So I pulled him out by his head. Rose, <laughs> help me. I pulled him out by his head. And he's, 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 he's basically shit down there, isn't he? He's chewed up the leaves and stuff. It's fucking horrible. You wouldn't, want, you wouldn't want your foot to go down there. Never mind your old body. So I pulled him out. And we've not thought anything about it. I've gone back to his house. And I'm, you know when, you've, you, when you're pissed up and you go back to your mate's house and you, uh, you think, fucking hell. You wake up in the morning and you think, I just want to be in my own bed. So I've got up and I've gone home six in the morning, woke up maybe, I don't know, 11, 12 o'clock, I'm thinking, fucking hell, did Abby fall down a fucking drain last night? So I phoned him up, and as soon as I phoned him, he answers it, he's like, Rosa, did I fall down a fucking drain last night? <laughs> and we're just laughing our heads off about it. It's like, that's fucking cost me 100 quid, that has. I fucking ruined my shirt, my trousers and my shirt. <laughs> and to this day, it's just... When you see something so strange, imagine just seeing it like this fucking stormtrooper helmet. It's just there. It's there. You're standing here. That's it. And just pull him out by his head. It's fucking absolute madness. Absolute madness. Crazy. And uh, I just think of it every time I see him. Fucking hell. What a fucking funny guy. Let's hear it. So. <clears throat> Nick's heard this, obviously, because Nick was involved. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. Here, okay, we, here go. we go. So, can't quite remember how old we were, but it must have been... Well, Nick was young. Probably Nick was only probably six or seven. Is it the dog shit story? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick's probably only about six or seven. And um, 
So obviously at some stage, some stage, he's obviously had a little bit of an accident in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Lying there in bed. I told you I could fucking run through <laughs> pants like nobody bed. else. He's had an accident in his pants. And obviously most, most people would obviously get up and clean themselves up. Go to the bathroom, clean themselves up. <laughs> obviously not near. <laughs> so he's obviously so he made a mess in his pants, done whatever he's done with them. Forgot about it. Three months later. Three months later. <laughs> three, three months. I'm sure I cleaned up. Three months later, <laughs> we have my nana and granddad round for a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> so we've had dinner and um, <laughs> decide we can have a little game, whatever board game. Monopoly. Monopoly is the game. So there we all are, set up in the living room. I don't know this story. Yeah, I don't know true. it. I'm I'm not absolutely it. true. My nana was lovely, lovely little lady, really prim and proper, and uh, gets the Monopoly board out. My nana opens the, the, the board of Monopoly, and there in the middle is a shit or pair of Nicholas Hughes pants. <laughs> Why the fuck were they in the Monopoly well, board? It's just decided to put him under his bed, but not under the bed. He opened the bottom <laughs> Monopoly up and drops his pants in the Monopoly box. Three months later. Oh. <laughs> what what were the brown what were the brown things in um Monopoly? Uh, Mayfair uh, and all of them, was it? There was some brown ones, oh, weren't there? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, there was oh, a shit road. road. There, was, there was a lot more. There were a few more old Kent roads on that board. <laughs> I didn't know this yeah, story. Yeah. Also, oh, I, um, man. when I was best man for Nick's wedding, obviously I included that little gem. Did you talk about talk that? About Did that. You? Well, obviously, when you've had a few more, when you've had a load of beer, yeah, it's it's a little bit funnier. Yeah. It was so, yeah, wow. I exaggerate. Adding to it. it. Yeah. Adding to it. But yeah, that's so you probably can't remember this, Lewis, because you're probably too young. But and the reason for it is it's something they put in the food now or don't put in the food. But if anybody's watching this, it is probably over thirty years old. So this is an excuse to why you crapped in there. No, 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 no. Yeah. This is the dog shit story. Shut the fuck up, sir. Um, uh, so, dog shit used to turn white. It's phosphorus, isn't it? Is that what it was? It is, yeah. But it doesn't do it anymore. So they've, they've obviously taken out whatever it was that was in it. So you'd, you'd always find dog shit that was white. And um, we'd got a couple of dogs. I don't know if it was when we had Della and Carla. It must have been. It weren't when we had Shelley. And I don't get angry very often. It takes an awful lot for me to get fucking proper angry. But the, maybe the two or three occasions that I've got, I can remember in my mind, I've just completely lost it. And he's winding me up for some reason, whatever it was. I was only young. I'm in the garden and it's fucking this. It's probably hitting me and stuff. And I've just fucking lost it. And I've just started picking up dog shit and <laughs> throwing it bare hands. I've lost it. White dog shit. Brown dog shit, <laughs> black fucking. dog shit. I'm just, fu I've, I've lost it, and I'm just fucking launching <laughs> piles of shit. I've gone. I've completely gone. <laughs> and they would, they because they were rock hard, weren't they? Dog shit, white dog shit. But I've not seen white dog shit for fucking ages. Yeah, but what, what else happened in it was it was on a Friday night, and I was looking after, it. I was babysitting. Um, so obviously Nick's in my care. And he started launching dog shit. Not only that, you started hitting me. <laughs> so I've decided I'm going to pin it your back. So I've back. He's gone down on the floor screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pointing down thinking, if mum dad, when mum dad come back, you see him in that state, they're going to absolutely go mad. So Fist. I calmed him down, calmed him down, promised him I'll buy him things and I'll... You went out <laughs> So he's sat, been sat there for three hours watching the television. Mum and Dad walks in the door and he starts again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is beating me up. This is beating me up. Oh my God. Horrendous. They were the fucking days, weren't they? They were the days. They were the days. Right, so on the topic of shit. <laughs> so we'll carry on. So to be fair, one of my mates, um, so one of his mates was at uni. Um, we got on a night out. Um, night had finished. Um, and then obviously, he was with a girl. He decided to go back to her house. Obviously, decided to shag her. So he shagged her. Finishes. 
he shit in the bed. He's fully shit in the what, bed. What, as he's come? Yeah, so, he's, so whilst he's having sex with the girl, she, he shat the bed. <laughs> this is one of your mates? No, so this is one of my mates' mates. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, it's, yeah. it's a mate's <laughs> mate. It's a mate's mate. Name was, <laughs> name was Lewis. That is not awkward. Yeah, so he shat the bed, so he carries on. So he obviously then leaves. I don't know what the girl does with the bed sheets or whatever, but it's obviously like two or three o'clock in the morning. So he's just shut the bed and just left. And then, like, obviously, Daddy knows now where your voice knows things. So he, he just. <laughs> so then he just started randomly voice noting videos of, like, voice notes of him farting. So then he got banned. So he's, he's obviously at the uni and he got, got banned, banned from, from what? Got banned from playing for the, fo- for, for the football team <laughs> because he was harassing the girl by sending a voice note to him farting. <laughs> That's your mate then. Yeah. yeah. So, I um, I'm not going to mention his name because he's still a good mate of mine. But uh, I used to have a me- I've got this mate, and he used to play for a rugby team, very well known rugby team in this area, like really a good rugby team, yeah. like top draw, somewhere near Leicester, Leicester Lions or something like that. And anyway, he was one of the youngsters, and he he was sort of in the B team. And I was playing tennis with him at the time. And uh, the rugby lads are fucking menaces, like proper menaces. Different, yeah, different, different yeah. gravy, mate. Different, different, different. And he said, yeah, so we've all gone out and all the young new recruits. So basically, the fucking, there's this like hanger-on woman, this woman that's a bit of a hanger-on, a couple of like groupies. And they used to call her bowling ball because she was as wide as she was <laughs> tall. <laughs> Horrendous. But what... <laughs> One of the things that all the new recruits had to do was shag this bird. <laughs> so anyway, it was my mate and his mate's turn, these two new young recruits. So they've had the night out and <laughs> come back to bowling balls house. <laughs> <laughs> and they've both shagged this bird and a mate. There was, I don't know, a couple of them. And um, in the morning, <laughs> he's got up and he's done a shit on the oven tray, put it in the oven and turned the <laughs> oven on. <laughs> And gone home. <laughs> that was the end of bowling ball's <laughs> fucking career getting wrecked by rugby players. Oh, you bastard. And um, so he, he always he used to say to us as well, one of the things that they, they do when they go on a night out is you've got the old fucking rugby team behind you. So you've got all the like A yeah. team is the big fucking lads and the, and the young ones. And he says, we used to stand at the bar and we'd piss on a bloke next to us. <laughs> Just randomly yeah, stop pissing on a guy next to us. The guy would fucking have a pop at you and then the old rugby <laughs> team would just <laughs> fill him in. <laughs> Could you imagine that standing at a bar in some club and some little lad's there with his cock out pissing on your legs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So on that note... <laughs> I fucking told you this was going to be good once I loosened them up. Wait yeah. till we get some fucking booze down the lines. <laughs> So I've gone out to a, on a night out with a load of mates, uh, Belfry, Belfry Golf, Golf Centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm not, when I've had a drink, I'm, I'm, I'm always in the toilet, but tiny bladder. <laughs> so anyway, obviously okay. I had loads and loads to drink. In the glory hole. Remind me about the glory hole after yeah, this story. Yeah, so we had loads to drink. <laughs> so we decided we were going to go for something to eat. I'm in this queue for food. The queue is massive. There's probably 10 people behind me and there's 10 people in front of me. I'm not losing my place in the queue, I want some food. I'm busting for a piss. So I'm thinking, can I hold it? Probably not. So I think, okay, I'll probably get away with it. So, I'm um, stood there, get it off it, get it off. Um, so I took a piss where I stood. I'd have got away with it, but there was a hole, a gap in the, in the, in the wherever we were. So I was pissing straight over and through into the kitchen, a long strip of it. <laughs> <laughs> into the kitchen. Into the I kitchen. thought I was pissing up against uh, some sort of a, a wall or something, but I'm pissing up and gone straight into the kitchen. <laughs> this is a scream. Everybody starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I got kicked out. I had to spend the rest of the night in the car park. Oh, my in the God. Car park, because obviously I wasn't driving. <laughs> Pretty bad. So have you lads heard the fucking story that's been going around social media the last maybe month oh about God. the glory hole? Yeah. yeah. Have you heard it? Yeah. You heard it? No. All right, so I'd, uh, this is not fully confirmed by me. I don't know for sure, but 
a load of WhatsApp voice message, voice notes got leaked onto the internet. You know, and you're like, I don't really do it. I think it's a bit fucking shit. If you can do a voice note to someone. I've got loads of mates that do it. I don't want fucking... We've got a real issue with phones, haven't we, Chris? Why don't you just talk? It's a luminous... Yeah, but... I, anyway, we don't like... So, so if, if any of you want to fucking phone me, don't bother. Text me. I'm bullshit answering the phone. So I'm on the phone to my brother often. And we're just on the phone and we're like, I'm fucking bored of you now. Just put the phone down. I hate speaking to people on the phone. But anyway, that's, that's, not, that's not the point. So these voice notes had got leaked onto the internet and it was this young girl and she was like, right, my name's such and such and I'm at such and such university and my, ho- my flatmate or my roommate um, has got this fucking terrible story. Everything's gone wrong in the life and everything, blah, blah, blah. And it starts off with, she was a bridesmaid at this wedding. One of the best mates was getting married. And for whatever reason, they decided to do the hen do and the stag do in Amsterdam at the same time. So they all went over together. They were all going to have a like, few drinks and whatnot, there. mates and stuff like that. They were all dead close. <laughs> and then the stags and the blokes were going to go on their way and the, and the girls were going to do their thing. Anyway, they fucking had an absolute skimful. This one fucking bird, one of the bridesmaids, decides to go to this place where there's glory holes. So a glory hole is there's just fucking random rooms with holes in it and blokes stick the cock through and someone sucks it. So this fucking bridesmaid's in there. Oh, you know no, where it's not. going, don't you? <laughs> it's not it's not really really stuff, stuff. Now, the story is, it was like a one-way glass and there was a button. Yeah, so so she's fucking noshing part. away on this cock. <laughs> 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 Finishes him off and then thinks, fuck it, let's just have a look what the bloke looks like. She fucking presses it and it was a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on the stag do <laughs> at the same time? So many that story. So many. I don't know how much truth is in it, but this this girl's like, that was it. The wedding was cancelled. The fucking <laughs> marriage was broken <laughs> up. That's it. Done. Finished. What Everything's over. Oh my God. What, what would you do? do? Oh, my God. Now, I don't know how much truth is in it because I did see some people trying to debunk it and they phoned up all the places in Amsterdam that have got glory holes and asked them if there is a one-way mirror that you can reveal. And none of them said yes, but it's a fucking quality story, isn't it? That is. Bastard. No, she knew that. (laughs) That's probably the worst. It maybe granddad would have been. No, dad's worse. Dad's worse. Dad's worse. That's worse. That's <laughs> eating your brothers and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bastard. Okay, so here's another little one. So uh, I used to work for a big wind company. Um, and I've gone to a job in Coventry. And the lady answers the door. She's for me. <laughs> she's probably 60. She's fat. She's got ginger hair. She's got, she's got more stubble than I've got. There's nothing wrong with gingers, by the nothing way. Wrong with gingers, as, as, as we saw earlier. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she, she's old. Anyway, so I'm chatting away to her. <coughs> she's taking me up to the where I'm doing the, the windows, up in the bedroom. And um, another chat. And uh, she. And this is right, but I'm going to have to go to the toilet. She so, said this to you? Yeah, so she's gone to the toilet. And obviously, I have no idea what, where the toilet was or anything like that. Anyway, she's, she's been gone for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm thinking she's obviously finished. So I also need to go to the toilet. So obviously, I've gone to the toilet, opened the door, and there she sat. Her legs wide open. <laughs> she's got the biggest. <laughs> ginger <laughs> rat. You never see <laughs> rat. <laughs> and I took one look, shut the door quick. And, and I turned around and went into the back, obviously went back. And uh, she come out, she said, You know, oh, I was in, I was in <laughs> She'd set you up. Oh. Scored oh. me for life. There's some fucking disgusting looking pussies, isn't there? <laughs> oh my God. Get a fist length away from that microphone. <laughs> so sorry. There's nothing that is fucking hell. I mean, you're all right, because you're still doing, what, under 18s? <laughs> but bastard, fucking hell. Do you reckon there's more disgusting looking dicks or more disgusting looking pussies? <laughs> that is a good question. Let us know in the comments.
I reckon pussies. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Looks like a fucking beef sandwich. <laughs> Be- beef cob. Oh, man. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, but dicks are pretty awful. Though. Pretty horrendous. Yeah, both pretty horrendous, aren't they? But the pretty standard looking. Yeah, yeah. That's Not that I've pretty seen many. Yeah, yeah. I've seen <laughs> enough. Not that I've seen a great deal. Okay, now. Can you remember the? Uh, can you remember your mate Chris on that stag do that told us that fucking brilliant story? Do you reckon it was bullshit? Can you remember it? Is that bullshit? Was it? You might be missing. You might actually watch the podcast. Got he might do, but we're not going to mention names. I don't need to mention names. Might have been true. Might have been true. Yeah, some of them were. Did you hear the story? So, this. The person that we should not speak of, the name that we will not mention in case he watches the podcast. So he's basically said he's gone out one night and he's in Nottingham and this bird's come up to me and she's gone, are you such and such? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, oh, fucking, I've been waiting for you. I fucking fancy the pants off you, this, that, and the other. Do you want to come out in the alleyway and shag me? And he's like, yes, I do. So he's fucking giving this bird this one down the alleyway. And the people coming past, so he's like, look, we can't fucking do it here. So he says, there's a local park close by. We'll go there in the bushes and I'll give you a fucking ride with it. So she's agreed to it and he's fucking gone there. Anyway, the gates are locked as there would be at like fucking one in the morning or whatever. So he says, I'll fucking boost you over. Boost you over the fence. So he's fucking boosted this woman over. She's fucking fallen down, broken her leg. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming her fucking head off. He's jumped over the fence. And there's obviously houses nearby. She's fucking screaming blue murder. So people are coming out going, what the fuck's going on out here? I'm calling the police. And they're like, fucking hell, what are we going to do? I reckon he'd got a girlfriend or something as well. So it was a little bit, you know what I mean? It was a bit, a little bit coy. A bit coy, yeah. So anyway, he's like, fuck it. It's all right. We'll, we'll get it sorted. You'll be all right. So he's like, I'm p- piggybacking her across the field to fucking try and find the fence. It's a bit smaller. Anyway, we fucking fat. Anyway, got over it, whatever. And called an ambulance. She's gone to the hospital and she's fucking broken. Like she needs it in traction. So anyway, I've fucking not spoken to her saying for ages. Nothing. Never went to see her, nothing. And um, a few months later, she's come out of hospital and, you know, whatever. They've not seen each other. And he's reckons he's bumped into her again like a year later at the same fucking uh, nightclub. And she's gone off on one. You never fucking came to see me, you cunt, you this, that, and the other, all this shit, that, that. Anyway, he's calmed it all down and he says, we've ended up going back to my house that night. So, gone back to my house, given a good idea, and then decided I'm going to drive her home in the morning because it's just not quite that. So he says, I'm still a bit pissed. He says, we're fucking driving down. He says, I'll fucking crash the car. <laughs> Broke her other leg. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know how much of that story is true, but if all of it's true, it is the greatest story. It's better than the drain. It's far better than the drain. Uh, I don't think he shagged her a third time. Fucking hell. She's got no more legs to <laughs> She's in a wheelchair now <laughs> with a beef cob. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I told you it was fucking pure waffle. Bastard. So what was I beefing like then, Lewis? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't start with that one. Maybe I need to leave. Maybe, yeah. maybe Dad needs to go. Oh, Dad yeah. needs to go. Yeah, that was an, ex- uh, an experience. That was the first time I ever done. Bet you pulled some absolute stunners, didn't you? Uh, but yeah, do you drop your standards? What's the lowest you'd go for? Would you bang a six? On obviously, if I've, if I've had drink, but I've, to be fair, I try to stop drinking now. Uh, yeah. But they lower a little bit. But I try not to. No, not uh, really. I try not to. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> It's it doesn't have to know his standards, does it? Wow. Depends, depends How can you appreciate the good if you've never <laughs> been, in, <laughs> been in the gutter? <laughs> <laughs> you only appreciate a nice, sweet cup of tea when you've oh, had one you ain't put any sugar in. <laughs> okay, now. Oh, my God. How many sugars do you have in your tea, Chris? In actual fact, you know that Celtic salt that I gave you? Yeah. Celtic coastal salt. It's the business. If okay. you put a little bit of that in your in your tea or your tea, coffee, yeah. it what I've noticed is it makes it sweeter than what it actually is. So instead of having two sugars, I will only put I don't put two yeah. in anyway. But amazing. It's obviously, if my wife's watching, I don't have any sugar. You don't have any no, sugar. Have sugar. But you're mad, aren't you? Madness yeah. with your sugar. Yeah, what are you on? Four or five? No, none. <laughs> <laughs> Show me with your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any 
All I know is, once, when he's come and done any work at my house, they're decking or something, I'm going to the sugar sugar jar yeah, the next day, there's nothing left in there. No, it depends, because I've been doing a, uh, I do detoxes. Yeah, you do. Um, so when, I'm, when I've done my detox, when I'm on a detox, no sugar, no coffee, no nothing. What do you do? Forever Living Products, Forever. detox product, clean nine. Yeah, that's it. Only two hundred and forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> How much is it now? It's dear, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, expensive. Expensive. It's, it's expensive. It's expensive, though. It is. It can cost about hundred fifty pounds. It is good. You're in, I'm invested hundred and fifty pounds invested. So, so you're going to do it? To, yeah. I do tend to stick to it, but to be fair, this time I've stuck to it a little bit too much. Do you know what you could do it's next time? <laughs> give me hundred. Give me so, hundred and fifty quid and say if I don't lose a stone in three weeks, you can keep the hundred and fifty yeah, quid. Absolutely. Yeah, so I've gone to um, I've gone to the, the cob shop uh, in Kegley. I don't think I don't think our international fucking audience is going to know what a cob is. Okay, okay. Because so I, I think, think only people in this area know, don't they? Bar, more. A bap, 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 a cob, a bread yeah. roll. Bread so bread as well. a cob. I've known yeah. these people for since I was eighteen. Um, I used to go in quite regularly. <laughs> I've not been in there for about six months. And I uh, went in on Thursday morning. Fisting. Yeah. Fisting, fisting, <laughs> fisting. Why don't you manoeuvre it a little bit? Because it, uh, it doesn't I, come over here anymore. Why not? Because you it, it, it spins on its... There you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, but surely... <laughs> <laughs> I've managed to do it somehow. Yeah, but you're lying down. I'm fucking lying I'm down. Chilling. I'm getting a hammock for the anyway, next one. Anyway, I've gone in uh, last Thursday. Um, and she's come to me. She says, oh, Chris, Chris, not seen for ages. Um, I said, yeah, I've uh, been on doing a detox. She said, yeah, I can see. You've lost some weight, haven't you? I said, yeah. My husband comes. He says, fucking hell, you look ill. Cheers <laughs> <laughs> to that, mate. Thank you very much. Um, and the woman, and yeah, so, so, yeah, so that, that, then the next day, um, we take a delivery of some rug tiles from a company in the UK. Uh, and... The lady that comes, she is absolute diamond. She tells it as it is. Um, but we met her about, I'm going to say, six months ago. It was in the summer. Both came walking out without a top off. And she says, oh, my God, you better gorgeous. <laughs> no, she said that to me first. And then he I said, you wait till you see him. And he comes out, and here he comes. He says, oh, yeah, he's nice. So we've had the <laughs> chat with her. She's a proper, proper lady, proper woman. Says it how it is. Uh, and then she's come to see us on... Thursday, the same day. <laughs> and uh, she said, um, I said, do you remember? She says, yeah, of course I do. She said, you've lost a bit of weight since then, haven't you? I says, yeah. She says, um, she, said, oh, she didn't say much for about 15 minutes. And she said, you know what? I think I preferred you before, before when you were a bit fatter. <laughs> She says, but I'd still date you, though. <laughs> do you know what? And it's absolutely, it's weird that you say that because... <clears throat> For those of you that don't know, I'm quite something on TikTok. Um, in my early days on TikTok, like first couple of months, you're just trying to fucking find things that people are interested in. And um, I did this thing. I got these, it was like 12 pictures from one to 12 or one to nine of different amounts of body fat on women and on men. So you, you're going right from the fucking shredded guy all the way to some absolute fat bastard <laughs> and everything in between and it was like this is five percent body fat this is 10 whatever so your top row was like fucking muscle men and yeah, whatnot yeah. your middle row was kind of where me and your dad would fluctuate between our entire lives pretty fat <laughs> to not quite so fat and then the bottom row is the fat bastards and um same for the bloke same for the women and i said to to, to the tiktok audience you know in the comments What's your favourite number here? But some other women commented. And it was really odd because both the men and the women all commented on that middle line, which was a good amount of body fat on, no fucking bulging muscles or anything like that. Nobody in the men or the women wanted them first two, two to three sections, which were like 5% body fat up to maybe... 11% body fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it was, it was, it was odd. And I, you know, I don't know if... I don't know if it was all a load of... I think, yeah. I think it depends. I don't know if it was all a load of bullshit, because yeah, I don't know, but it, it was weird, and that was that was early in the days, and we got a good, you know, I don't know, hundreds of people commenting on it, so it wasn't just one or two people saying it. So, there you go. There you Fuck go. your detox. Get the Twixes down your neck. <laughs>
I did do that night. <laughs> you like a few I, Twixes, don't I you? I had some beer. I had some beer. Oh my god, he's, a, he's not drank for a I'm while. I'm not drank for fisting. Yeah, he's not drank for a while. No, not drank, no dr not, probably not had a drink. In fact, I hadn't had a drink since, since, went since we all went out for an Indian with family. Really? Yeah, so not yeah, drank. So not drank since then. Anything. You told me you had a beer the other night and it fucking sent you loopy. You had okay. one beer. So fucking total this is, fucking liars. Yeah, this is the night. This is it. So oh, this was the only beer since the, the night. Whatever it was, it's a bottle of so Tiger not, or Not only have I not yes. had any alcohol, I've had nothing. I've had no... Not Well, I've had very little, very little chocolate. Bollocks. No bread. Mate, I've on. been eating really well. Later in life. Been eating really compared to what I normally do. Yeah, compared, though. I'll give you that. I mean, I've had nothing. I've not taken any painkillers for my for my ailments. Nothing. And then, what the fuck's that got to do with I'll, chocolate and shit? I was, <laughs> so I was, I'm, I'm just pretty clean living. I'm really clean living. So um, that's why you look know. fucking ill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's that's not what he says. It's not what he's cracked up to be, is it? Clean living. <laughs> not what he's cracked up to be. Absolutely not. No. So I've decided that um, I'm going to go out. My mate, Ian. Not seen for years, and um, five o'clock, he's texting me to say not very well. So in my mind, I'm going out with a mate. What do I do? So I decide to have an Indian and a beer. So I've had the Indian and one single beer. What no, takeaway? No, 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 hold on, Take, hold on. Yeah. You hadn't even drank the whole beer. You'd had, you'd like had, you'd made it into a shandy. Yeah, I made a shandy. And I'm not joking. Like I'd taken probably about four inches off the top of it, and I've already slurred my words. He was fucking bladder. Come to the end of that <laughs> one game. <laughs> I was absolutely wrecked. Wrecked. Proper, just proper sat on wrecked. the dog's bed and the dog just pissing himself. <laughs> just fucking on his bed. Yeah, just yeah, 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 but I'm sure spices in Indian food enhance the alcohol. Because you never get more pissed than when you go out for an Indian with your mates. Granted, you probably have sank 15, 15 pints. Yeah. But you do get bladdered, don't you, on the yeah. nights out? I was, I was gone. Fucking hell, I've, I've been so pissed drink. sometimes. So fucking pissed. I've spent my whole summer being in Tenerife. The fir first year we went to MAGA, me and the lads, before the night started, so what would there have been? There'd have probably been about four of us. We drank a litre of vodka, a litre of Malibu, and a litre of Bacardi. Between the four of us, before we went out, just as at every single night, and we were in MAGA for two weeks, mate. Fucking hell. Bastard. Maga. That was a fucking place. It was funny because I said to all the lads on the way out on that second time we went, I said, you lads are going to fucking meet your wife out there. They're like, so fuck you off. Did. And I did. did. I fucking came home with a wow. wife. Fucking KFC. McDonald's. That's fucking 20 odd years ago now. Bastard. But I was saying this on the TikTok the other day. There's no way I could have done all of this if I'd have still had a partner. No way. No fucking way. Absolutely no way. I get enough stick off my daughter if she's <laughs> fucking there. You're fucking out again all night. This, you couldn't have done it. Couldn't have done it. So, whether it's the best thing that ever happened or not, I don't know. She ain't going to watch this. We ain't got no subscribers yet. How many subscribers have we got, Ben? Four? Three? Four. We're going to have a fucking lot more after this, isn't we? So, in the comments, who's the most handsome out of us three, then? Wait, now, we, we can say that. We yeah, we can. He is now. Please. I reckon most of the people are going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that with a fucking straight no, listen, face. Let me, let me just go for this. So, I'm more famous than you, though. Yeah, but listen to this. So, one, people, are more, so people are more recognisable. Yeah. I'm more recognisable. So I've gone to, uh, we've gone to customer's house. About a year ago, customer's house, two little old ladies. Um, I introduced myself, give them a chatter about you know what we're going to do. We're going to dust you down and we're going to replace the windows. So I've had a five minute chat. Five. He comes to the door, starts talking to them. He goes, Your son. Yeah. She said, does he, uh, does he take after your wife? I said, what do you mean? She I says, thought you were going to say, really good looking. I thought you were going to say, does he take you up the arse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does he take after your wife? Why? He's really good looking. <laughs> you two little old ladies. Cheeky bastards. I bet you charged them more, didn't you? Top of room. No, I did this. I should the job. <laughs> I didn't fit the windows properly. <laughs> I forgot you, man. Okay, now. Yeah, you are quite fucking sensitive to that, isn't you? Yeah. I couldn't, yeah. couldn't give a fuck. I couldn't give a shit. It is nice, but the, but the thing, and this is one of the things that 
again, early on in my TikTok, one of the things that, that I quite quite like to do, and I often do it, are the batteries all right, Phil? We're good. Can you pause it whenever you want and then carry on doing it? Because I need a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you can't. You Joe Rogan just goes, pauses it, and then goes, and we're back. You can do that. We spent fucking twenty grand on the setup bed. Oh, what are you just doing? The bomb just shit yourself. <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, so um, I coined this phrase, a hit and run compliment, and it's one of the best things that you can do. Walk up to someone. You know, you know when you're walking down the street, you might see a bloke or a woman, and there's something that you like about them. Really nice coat, really nice hairstyle, or something like that. Perfect. Aftershave, I do it all the time. Yeah. And just walk up to somebody, particularly a bloke, and say, mate, I think your fucking hairdo's wicked, or your trainers are amazing, yeah. and walk off. Don't go and expect a, a, a compliment in reply, just hit and run. Really fucking like your handbag, looks amazing, your outfit looks wicked, and walk off. And you, they're fucking it's bewildered, fun. particularly blokes, because when's the last time you get a compliment? Obviously, you're going to get a compliment all the time because you're young and you're out and you're in that environment but you know once you fucking get beyond 25 30 you don't get compliments as a bloke do you chris no, too much. you don't get a compliment 30, and it fucking 30, really 30 boosts the, you doesn't it 30 is the time i had uh, midlife crisis at 30 didn't want to get to 30 um, i've been eating my 30 started thinking tomorrow i have to stop going nightclub yep stop going all this clubbing um proper proper Broke me at 30. So here's a question for you. If you could go back to any age, physically you would never get any older, but mentally you stay the same. What would you choose? Where would you go to? Because this is fucking quite a good lesson for these young lads, isn't it, now? Because what are you now, Lewis? 20, 25. 25. Ben, you're fucking 12, are you? <laughs> what would you do? Where would you go to? I think around about 25. Really? Oh, yeah. Do you not think you're a little bit immature mentally and emotionally no, still? I, no. I still am. So, yeah, but so at 25, I reckon 30s. I've, I've got, I've got, I've got some, I've got a little bit of money. I, I was having the best time of my life. Then. But you were fucking simple. I still am. Uh, yeah, but you were proper simple then, weren't you? 25, 25 is you. Why are they click, 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 click it? Yeah, 25 for me. You reckon 25 was the obviously, hot spot? Obviously, th 31. Your body's not even matured at 25, oh, has right, it really? Right. <laughs> I was in bed sheets. You fucking it? were not. <laughs> you thought you were, you were. Yeah, I thought it was. He always tells me what. Yeah. Nah, I, was I was just bigger than him. I wasn't no, you weren't as big. tall. No. So no, you I were stockier. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wasn't that So 25, I, th I think I'd go 30, 31, 32, somewhere there. Body's still recoverable after bullshit, and, but mentally, I mean, I'm fucking mentally ill now still, so. But you're kind of there, do you know what I mean? You're kind of yeah, responsible. Yeah, but for you're kind of responsible. Me, it was a different time because it was all about the music, the music, all the, the dance culture and the rave. And yeah. It was all huge and new. Everything that went with that was incredible. And even now, it's, it's not the same. So 25 for me is a gamble. But I think you probably, yeah, you might be right, 25. It all depends because 25 year olds are completely different. My eldest, Megan, she's going to be fucking completely different 25-year-old to some others. You know what I mean? She'll be a made woman, probably fucking house and everything. But you get some 25-year-olds and fucking hell. Still living with mum and dad and... Uh... Yeah. Like but you can't fucking afford not to, though, can you, Lewis? Yeah, to be fair, though, I think, I think it's different in different circumstances. Thing is, would you... I get on with mum and my dad. Yeah. So, like, and they Fisticuffs. Don't want, yeah. Would, Fisting would I have wanted to still be living with my mum and dad at 25? Maybe not. Maybe not. Would you have wanted to live with your mum and dad at 25? Or were you? I wasn't, no. I'd, I'd got a fucking, bought a house at 23. Oh, really? And mar I was married at 24. Wow. I think I had Megan at 26. Yeah, so Did I was... Really? Yeah, well, she's 17, I'm 45. So what's 45 take off 17? 20... What is it, technician? Come on. 45 take away 17. Fucking hell. 28. So I got, had Megan at 28. And we, we were trying for a couple of years. So we were definitely married at 26. Bought the house at 25. Yeah, mad. Bought the house on a fucking self-employed fucking income. 
<laughs> don't know how we fiddled that. Is it still working? Yeah. Really? So then comes the time, aren't they? Good. Can you fucking believe we're sat here doing this all because a year ago I decided to start making fucking TikTok videos? I remember, it's I remember fucking you started. madness, Lewis. I remember when you started. It's fucking madness. That, that app is going to fucking change the world for so many people. A fucking three-minute video. Say again. It has, but, but honestly, some of the stuff that we've got in the pipeline that I can't really say yet is just monumental and it's fucking free to do it. We launched this thing the other week and uh, 2,000 people signed up for it, saw the vision and were like, yeah. And then you get people going, oh, that's not fucking gonna work, da 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 da. And you're just thinking, fucking hell, how can you not see it? But some people can't. People not vision, if you mean, just don't do part, part of it. Yeah. There's a lot of lazy people and you don't realize how lazy some people are. Yeah, you know, it's about that quote, pull it? your if phone you put, out. If you put like what an hour a day into something and put good an hour yeah. into it, you set yourself apart from ninety five percent of the people by just putting that hour in. Do you reckon a hundred hours? You put hundred hours into so, anything and you'll be really quite good at it. Guitar, keyboard or whatever. I tell you what, you lads we can't do it now, but we on that fucking VR that I've got there. It's got cameras on the outside, so it, it can display things on the inside, but you still see in the outside so world. Outside and there's an app on there that you can learn to play the piano. So you've got all the notes all coming notes, down yeah. and a virtual keyboard in front of you, but you can see yeah. your fingers and you know that's when to press. Yes, that's where it fucking is. And, uh, and you can have like a, a, a TV screen, virtual TV screen there with a film on whilst you're doing it. And you, uh, it's fucking mental, mental. VR's next level. Next fucking level. Yeah, I've just got one more thing to say anyway. Um, I'm not very photogenic. So Only one. Obviously, the camera's not picking up, but I'm really good looking. <laughs> 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 I'm looking at it. Yeah. That's the best looking seat. That's why we put him there, yeah, didn't we? Really. He's not that good looking. Look, if you're feeling self conscious, you can always put the storm trooper helmet on. Actually, didn't ask if I could. Yeah. You can fucking. Yeah, you could do some role play later I was, on. <laughs> I was a lot better looking six months ago before this, before this beat up. I was a lot better looking. <laughs> but how old are you now? Knocking oh, on, aren't you? Pushing well, six. Yeah. yeah. Nearly six. You can't fucking believe it. People say to me, fucking how old are you, brother? I'm like, he's fucking late 50s. That bastard. Yeah, looks well, fucking, look me, brilliant for that. I've got people saying, or they come speak to me. So if anybody yeah. tells you cocaine, ecstasy, copious amounts of alcohol, late nights and a shit diet are bad for you, <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking liars. Yeah, <laughs> I reckon the only thing that probably we've never done is smoke. <coughs> yeah, Smoked a few absolutely. cocks, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you remember? I'm not going to say who it is, but uh, Uncle D. You know who Uncle D is. You had a scrap with. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, don't you? So I don't know where we were. It was some family gathering, and it might not have been like all the family, but it was like you know maybe us and the older ones, and. Uncle D's fucking pissed out of his head. And uh, he's just casually said something like, yeah, I've sucked a cock before. <laughs> what? And, we're all like, and, he, and he's kind of said it, like, expecting us all to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah fucking, I've done that. And we're like, what? And he's like, yeah, all pissed up, just having a laugh. He's like, yeah, I've sucked a cock before. He's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, but then, you, don't, you, you know, and then Uncle D's wife was like, proper grilling him and questioning him all night and it was like oh, you, don't, you don't do you no. okay now where do you expect that conversation to go <laughs> i think i think uncle d was just like yeah ev surely everyone's done this they've got pissed up and they've had a dare and the mates look is that tell you what one thing that we did once he does get quite good now. this is kind of similar on that similar level so when you young, well, you know when you, you know when you're pissed up you're fucking out your mind and you're falling asleep somewhere Fucking lips are dry when you wake up. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Lick your lips. lips. Yeah. So this fucking dude's <laughs> fallen asleep at this house party and we've all got a smegma on our fingers, wiped it on his lips and then woke that him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shave people's eyebrows off. I mean, half of that shit, you probably do in time for that well, now, aren't you? You do in time for that now, 100%. Yeah, you're getting locked up for that. Yeah. 
He fucking woke up, thought he'd had a cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Who got me a cheese sandwich? <laughs> fucking hell. Some of the fucking shit. Um, I was saying to someone, can you remember Busters? The old pub in Busters? Yeah. So I, and in actual fact, the story came about by, like, if you fucking, if you, if you touch a bird's arse in a nightclub now, you can get done for sexual assault. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can get fully done for sexual assault. But back in our day, that was just a normal thing, wasn't it? And I used to be a, gas, a glass collector in Busters, and it's not even a club now no more. So I was probably, what, 16, 17, maybe, glass collecting on a Thursday and a Friday night. If you didn't get your ass pinched by a few birds that night, you'd had a shit night. It was, yeah, fucking come on. You thought you were the man. Can't do it now. But anyway, there used to be this DJ up there. His name was Sam, and uh, he had the DJ box. And he'd always do these fucking stupid things. And one night, it wasn't me, but one of the other glass collectors had found a pint of sick. Someone had fucking thrown up into a pint glass. So Sam's up there, and he's like, right, 100 quid for anyone who can drink this fucker without throwing up. And this fucking woman, in actual fact, probably could have been bowling ball. Has <laughs> <laughs> rolled up. She's fucking took the pint glass on the dance floor, middle of the dance floor. She's fucking necked the lot. Wiped her mouth. Give me my fucking money. Fucking <laughs> hell. I mean, fucking. You, oh, man. Just the thought of that makes me sick. I was going to say, and this wasn't me, this was, this was my friend. Yeah, th yeah, this was your mate. One of my mates, um, also a window fitter, working with Uncle Fistington, D. please. Uh, yeah, working, working, also working with Uncle, 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 Uncle D. D. Uncle D. Big D. With Uncle D on a job in Leicester, and uh, had this customer. He had a really strange habit of walking around, following us. Who the customer, customer? Uncle D. Customer. Yeah, customer used to come and uh, so sort of clean down the window, and he's little marks on the window, and he's going. <laughs> wiping, his, licking his finger, wiping, wiping this thing, and basically just to show us that we weren't doing a job properly. Proper piss me off, piss my mate off, he did. Proper piss my mate off. <laughs> and, um, he didn't suck his dick afterwards, did he? <laughs> so obviously it was Thursday night, so obviously all my me and my mate were all going out. My mate, Chad, got a minder. Came back, didn't purposely didn't wash his dick. From seat to head. Oh. And she's taking wipes all over, over the, the windows. windows. <laughs> 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 he thought he'd had a cheese sandwich, didn't he? <laughs> oh my god! So, oh man, we've done some horrible things. <laughs> so, yeah, so you, you know, obviously, Dean. Dean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a real. And, uh, dirty shagging bastard, dirty or just bastard. dirty. Dirty shagging bastard. So uh, every Friday afternoon, so I used to be working at uh, Arnold's every Friday afternoon. Everybody used to knock off early, but before they knocked off, we all in the canteen. Uh, and everybody used to have their own places. Uh, one particular guy, I'm not going to say his name, but um, he used to have his sandwiches always made and he sat there on the table ready for, for dinner. Anyway, Dean had been out one night before. He brought the condom. Absolutely full of shit. I went into the guy's box. Sausage Fisting. Sandwich. Got the sausage sandwich. <laughs> Dipped it in the condom. The, <laughs> the sausage out. <laughs> stuffed it. Stuffed the sausage into the condom. Tied it up. <laughs> Put it back in his sandwich. <laughs> what the condom and all? <laughs> condom, sausage sandwich. Told everybody, pop this guy. This poor guy. He took a bite of Exploded. the Exploded. <laughs> 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 his face all over that. <laughs> you dirty man. <laughs> How? <laughs> Oh my god! I can't believe you used to get away with this. That's absolutely true. Oh it. man, that's not that's not been added yeah. to anything. That was true. So when I was when I was when I was at school, some of the fuckers might be watching this. <laughs> I used to get bullied a little bit when I was in like year ten. And my mum used to make me these big fucking cobs, big fucking huge subway, look like a beef fucking sandwich, and. Uh, 
these fucking couple of lads used to fucking bully me a little bit and they found out that I'd got this fucking sandwich. They used to nick it off me every day. <laughs> well, <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> what the mayonnaise was in the ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the problem was, I used to have to kind of put up a bit of a fight. I was happy to give it to them, but you didn't want to make it too obvious. And they were fucking chomping on this sandwich. Must have been for six months, every day. <laughs> and and it was there was many things in there. Never found out. Not one. They don't. They don't. They fucking can't remember it. The bastards. <laughs> Made him strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, fucking hell! Good job you've not got enough viewers. <laughs> no, no. Wait till we're really famous. Someone goes back. I think. I think. Catch up. Oh. <laughs> Get done for murder. I think one of them passed away not long ago. <laughs> <laughs> not laughing at someone yeah. passing away. That's absolutely not what we're laughing at. But fucking hell. 25 years later. <laughs> fucking hell. But yeah, that's, that's what you've got to do, ain't you? You know what I mean? What else can you do? You've got to do something. You fucking end up fighting or this, that, you, you get in trouble. So I thought, yeah, you fucking. You want, you want the sandwich? You're going to get the sandwich. You're going to get that ham sandwich. Fucking hell. Kids nowadays don't know they're, they're born though, do they? Never had a fight. Never had a conflict. I mean, I'm... Doing barely got the house. Yeah. Really? yeah. Well, 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 is on. You know, you're not fisting that microphone, are you? I'm not one bit. Oh. Is it? It's all good. We've got two more, three more minutes. Um, yeah, we've got, we've, we, these batteries don't last that long, so we've bought these batteries that go in and plug in, they're coming tomorrow, so we can roll forever, but, oh man, do you know what, let's fucking wrap it up there, have a fucking good laugh, I'm sweating. <laughs> ben, I've got ham sandwich in the car, if you want one, if you're feeling a bit peckish. Brother, love. Good stuff. Um, don't forget to follow us. End the struggle on TikTok. Pure Waffle Podcast on TikTok as well. Or is it Pure, Pure Waffle Pod? Pure Waffle Pod on, on here, isn't it? Share it. Share the fuck out of it. Um, don't forget Celtic Coastal Sea Salt is amazing. Pure Waffle Podcast. Um, if you want to come on, let me know. We'll just have a fucking laugh. Um, if you've got any secrets in the closet that you don't want revealing don't come on because we will get it out of you um you can't quite see it yet because we haven't got another usb cable we're gonna have another camera up there that's gonna do a wide angle so we've got a tv here if you want to advertise on there uh, it's going to cost you forty-five thousand pounds per minute uh, to advertise whatever no we'll, we'll put it up there for you <coughs> and also we've got a new um, new range in sausage <laughs> <laughs> We've got some sausage and ham sandwiches that we're going to start marketing very soon. <laughs> and uh, go and follow Anthony Nomads. Go and see Lewis banging in some beauties. Um, I think that's about it. I'm a cunt. You're a cunt. Ooh, You're a cunt. Together. Let's all be cunts together. <laughs> oh, shit. How long have you been holding that? <laughs>